Hello Booktube, welcome to Lizzie Fay Loves Books. I'm Elizabeth and today's video is going to be an update on the collected authors that I've never read. Well back in February of 2016 I did a video called Seven Collected Authors I Have Never Read and at that time I believe those were the only authors that I had collected four or more books by and I had never read anything by those authors. So that is my definition of a collected author. It has to be an author that I have at least four books by. Now I have a lot of collected authors. I, you can see from my shelves back here I have a lot of authors that I've collected more than four books by. However, I've read these authors. So what I'm going to focus on today are authors that I've collected that I have never read. I've never read a single book by any of these authors. So first let me go back and look at last year's video and tell you those authors and I'll give you an update on how many of those I have actually read in the almost year and a half since I filmed that video. The seven authors I talked about in last year's video are Nancy Atherton. She's the author of the Aunt Dimity series. Ann Brashers, she's the author of the Traveling Pants series. Elizabeth Lynn Casey, she's the author of the Southern Sewing Circle Mystery series. Jody Thomas, she's the author of the Harmony series and some other Texas related series. And Lorna Landvik, she mostly has standalones. And uh, Elizabeth Berg, she also mostly has standalones. And then Erlene Fowler, she is the author of the Benny Harper Cozy Mystery series. It's kind of quilt related and she has also started a couple of other series as well. So from that video to now I have read at least one book by four of these authors. My most successful read is the Aunt Dimity series by Nancy Atherton. I have read five of these books and I am really excited about it. I didn't read one this year for March Mystery Madness so sometime between now and the end of the year I would like to read book six which is Aunt Dimity Beats the Devil. Another author that I read last year, last summer in fact, is Anne Brashers. I did read The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. My sister had read this series and thought that I might enjoy them. I wasn't as crazy about this first book as I hoped I would be. So I did not go ahead and read the rest of the series, although I do plan to. I just had so many other things I was reading last summer. I, I did try to participate in the Pants Along that was hosted by Kayla Rain, but I only got this first book read. I have the other books in the series and I do hope to get to them one of these days, but at least I have read one of these books and I'm happy about that. Uh, another one that I did finally read one of is um, by Elizabeth Lane Casey. It's the Southern Sewing Circle Mystery Series. The first book is So Deadly. My sister read the series uh, several years ago and she has been telling me for years that I needed to read it and she was right. I really really enjoyed this first one and I do really want to read some more of the series. Hopefully I can read at least one more this year. And then earlier this year I finally got a Jody Thomas book read. I read the first book in the Harmony series. This was really good. I thoroughly enjoyed it and I'm really looking forward to reading more in this series. So in 2016, I read three of these seven authors, and since then, in 2017, I've read one already. So of the three I still have left to read, I'm least likely to read Erlene Fowler because I really want to read her Benny Harper mystery series. I already have most of them except the first one, and I'm not going to start it until I have the first one. So if I do decide to read an Erlene Fowler book, I will probably pick up Love Mercy. This is the beginning of a different series, but I don't really want to start another series when I have so many other series that are already going. So I may still go ahead and wait and not try to start an early Fowler series this year, but definitely by next year I'm going to be reading something. And if I decide to go ahead and pick this up, I'll be able to listen to this on audio. On Hoopla Audio, they have at least two books by Lorna Landvik and Elizabeth Berg. The two books by Lorna Landvik are Patty Jane's House of Curl and Your Oasis on Flame Lake. I'm leaning towards Patty Jane's House of Curl. This is the first Lorna Landvik book that I ever got and it just looks fun. This one looks good too, but I'm kind of leaning toward this one. But if you've read either of these and know anything about them, let me know. I have collected a lot of books by Elizabeth Berg. Maybe it's because her name's Elizabeth. Maybe it's because these covers are just so awesome. I don't know, but I have a lot of them. I've narrowed down my choices to these two. So I'm either going to read Open House, which is an Oprah Book Club selection, or What We Keep, which I think is a little shorter. So I'm kind of leaning towards this one, but again, if you've read either of these, let me know what you thought about them. Now between February 2016 to the present, I count another 24 authors that I now have 
four or more books of, and I have not read anything by those authors. A couple of them are middle grade authors. I will go ahead and at least share with you who those authors are. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the books I'm most likely to read this year. I don't think I'm going to get 24 new authors read this year. But I have picked out the ones that I most want to read and I've included those on my lists of 17. So let me share with you the top 17 of the collected authors I've never read that I plan to read this year. I've already shown you the four from last year. One of those I've already read. So I'll show you the other 13 that I'm most likely to try to read this year. But I'll go ahead and list all of them down in the description below so you can check that out and see if you have read any of those authors or if you know anything about any of them and, you know, tell me what you thought. Now, of this list of authors that I've collected since February of 2016 when I did the first video, I have already read at least one book by two of them. And those authors are Cleo Coyle and Gilbert Morris. Now, I read On What Grounds by Cleo Coyle. It's the first in the Coffee House Mystery series for March Mystery Madness, and I really enjoyed it. Then I also read, during March Mystery Madness, One by One by Gilbert Morris. This book also goes by the title Guilt by Association. Either way, I thought it was a great story. Okay, so let me show you the next few on my list, and these are in no certain order. The next author on my list is Cecilia Ahern. I've collected five or six of her books, and I've narrowed my choices down to two. I'm either going to read If You Could See Me Now, or Thanks for the Memories. Now, Laura from Mom to Triplets 04 has a copy of Thanks for the Memories, and we briefly mentioned that we might buddy read this one, but I was forgetting that it was this book. I was thinking it was this one, and so I put this one on my audiobook list for the top 17 audiobooks that I want to read this year, and this one is not available on audio. So if Laura still wants to buddy read this, then I can always do some switching around, but one way or the other, I'm going to read one of these books by Cecilia Ahern in 2017. Now, I do have one on my list that I may bump out. I tried reading a couple of chapters of Simply Irresistible by Jill Shalvis, and I just didn't really enjoy it. So even though Jill Shalvis is on my list of collected authors I've never read, I may not be able to finish this. It really wasn't my cup of tea. But I did find that I do have the beginning of a different series on my shelves. Second Chance Summer is the first in the Cedar Ridge series. So I may give this one a try before I completely give up on Jill Shalvis altogether. In December, I'm really looking forward to reading some Donna Van Leer. I have several books in this Christmas Hope series, but I also have one called The Good Dream. And several of my friends from church have read this and really enjoyed it and said that I should read it. So this is more than likely the one that I'm going to read first. I have two trilogies now by Delia Parr, and this is the first one in the Candlewood trilogy called A Hearth in Candlewood. This just looks warm and cozy. I don't think it's Christmas themed, but I feel like I want to read this in maybe November or December. I don't know, but I definitely want to try to read this whole trilogy this year. There's only one other booktuber I've ever heard talk about Anita Jackson, and that is Ashley from Faithfully Moonstruck. And because I heard her talking about these books, and I started seeing them at used bookstores and library book sales, I have now collected this whole series. It's the Yada Yada Prayer Group by Anita Jackson. And there's another series that I think is maybe a spin-off series of this one, and I just recently heard her talking about them. She had gotten them on Book Outlet. So I'm really looking forward to reading this series first. There's seven books in this series, and I really want to read at least the first book this year. Another author I've collected is Charlene Ann Bombich. She wrote the Dearest Dorothy series. This just looks like a really fun and quick series to read. The books are very short, and this first book is called Dearest Dorothy, Are We There Yet? I loaned these to one of my church friends, and she said they were just adorable. She really, really enjoyed this series. And then one YA author that I have several books of that I've never read is Sarah Dessen. I think I'm going to start with this one, The Truth About Forever. I have maybe five or six of her books, and this, I think, was the first one that I ever got, and I really love the cover. So so I think I'm going to start with this one, and I'm pretty sure it's available on audio through my library, so I will hopefully get to this this year. Another series I'd like to actually start this month because this book is over 400 pages, and this is The Wishing Spell. It's the first book in The Land of Stories by Chris Colfer. I have the first four in this series. I've heard a couple of people mention this series and say that they really enjoyed it. I would love to read this first book this month or at least sometime this year. 
Well, I accidentally picked up book three instead of book one, but the Elsie series by Martha Finley. This particular edition is the modernized, updated version. I'm really leaning towards reading the classic version, which I have on ebook. So I'm not really sure yet. Uh, I may read one of each and compare and see which one I really want to pursue. So I know that um, the Elsie series is kind of a classic Christian children's series and I would like to read it. And then just recently I collected quite a few more than four of the Thresh Green and Fair Acre series by Miss Reed. Uh, two different series. There's the Fair Acre series and the Thresh Green series. And I don't know if I'm going to get to these this year or not. I had only just a few of them and then Recently, I was able to get a whole box full at a library bookstore. In fact, if you have been watching my Saturday Shelfie tours, I did an author focus, author spotlight on Miss Reed several weeks ago. So I have a lot of these books now. I really am looking forward to reading these. One other middle grade series that's on the list, I'm not sure I will get to it this year. I have most of this series collected and I may put this off till next year, but even if I just read the first one, I ought to be able to read it in a day. It is The Bad Beginning, which is the first book in the series of Unfortunate Events. I've read several chapters of this a long time ago, and I just never got it finished. So I do definitely want to pick this back up. This is not on my list of series to start this year, but since it is one of my collected authors I've never read, I will possibly make an attempt to read at least this first book this year, but I don't know. It's kind of at the bottom of the list. I'm not really sure that I'm in the mood to read this right now, so I don't know. Let me know what you think about it. Another author that I almost forgot about, this is a Christian author, Isabella Alden. I believe Isabella Alden was Grace Livingston Hill's aunt. I started seeing these at book sales and I started getting them when I see them because I saw that it said Grace Livingston Hill Library and looked into it a little bit and discovered that Isabella Alden was one of the inspirations for Grace Livingston Hill and her writing. So since I am a huge Grace Livingston Hill fan, I'm quite sure that I will enjoy these books by Isabella Alden and I have I think six of them now and of course I haven't read any of them. I have a few other middle grade authors that I've never read and they're not real high on my priority list but I'll show them to you and if I can get to them this year then that'll be great. Here's a series I collected for Katie and I don't know if she's ever going to get around to reading them. It's uh, The series is by Laurie Health Anderson called Vet Volunteers and this first book is called Fight for Life. And then I have a few books in the Faith Girls series by Nancy Rue. This one is called Sophie and the Scoundrels. I don't have book one yet. This is book three. So I probably won't get to this one this year. But since I'm showing you all of my collected authors I've never read, I had to put this one in the mix. One other middle grade series I forgot about is the Confectionately Yours series by Lisa Papadimitrio. The first book is called Save the Cupcake. And I believe there's only four in this series. I got these from Scholastic and they just look really fun. Okay, so the rest of the authors on my list are all mystery authors, and most of those are cozy mysteries. And I don't have a plan to read any of these this year. So I'm just going to show you at least one of the books in their series very briefly. And over the course of the next couple of years, I will hope to get started and hopefully finish their series. I have several of the Mrs. Jeffries Victorian Mysteries by Emily Brightwell. I have some of the Puzzle Lady Mystery Series by Parnell Hall. I have some of the Mr. Monk series by Lee Goldberg, the Molly Masters mystery series by Leslie O'Kane, and I believe these are school and PTA related. These are organizing mysteries by Mary Jane Maffini, and I just think they look really fun. The first book is Organize Your Corpses, and it says that there are organizing tips included, hopefully not for organizing corpses. The Cat in the Stacks mysteries by Miranda James, the Someday Quilts mysteries by Claire O'Donohue, the Crochet mystery series by Betty Hechtman. The Blanche series by Barbara Neely, The Jane Wheel Mysteries by Sharon Pfeiffer or Pfeiffer, and the Thoroughly Southern Mystery series by Patricia Sprinkle. And I accidentally left out the Savannah Reed Mysteries by G.A. McKevitt. So I think I've shown you at least one book from all of the authors I've collected that I have never read. I know that sounds like a lot, and those are all the authors that I've never read. If you could only see all the collected authors that I have read, I mean, that's a whole other series of videos. And you can see those if you watch my Saturday Shelfie tours that I post on Saturdays. Now, because I'm going to be taking a short channel hiatus for about five weeks, I will not be doing Saturday Shelfie tours during the next few weeks. But I will pick back up with those towards the end of July and show you the rest of what's on my shelf. Meanwhile, 
feel free to go back and take a look at the Saturday Shelfie Tours that I have already posted if, if you're interested in seeing what books I have on my shelves. All right, so those are the collected authors I've never read. I tried to kind of prioritize and show you the ones I'm most likely to read first, and then those at the end are the ones I'm not likely to read this year. But at some point, I do hope to read them, or I wouldn't have them on my shelves. And let me know if you have read any of these authors and what you thought of them. So that's all I have for this video. I hope you're having a great day. Read a good book, and God bless you.